Hey, I'm Tim from Chapel Grill Restaurant. Uh, today we're going to show you how to make a great holiday hors d'oeuvre, uh, an arancini, i.e. a fried risotto ball. We start with our pan, a little olive oil. Now this is a risotto technique for any kind of risotto. Keep that in mind, so there's variations. A little onion. Let that saute for a minute. And we're going to add our rice. Kind of let that rice toast. It'll start to turn a little white. It'll get nice and hot. And then I want to draw your attention back here. What I have going on back here is uh, what I call a bay leaf tea. Um, I mean, you can make risotto with any kind of stock, chicken stock, beef stock, whatever, but I prefer to start with a new, pretty neutral risotto. So I just take bay leaf and water, and then I have that kind of brewing back here. And that's the liquid we're going to use to, uh, to cook our risotto. We're going to hit it with a little white wine. We're going to cook that wine right into the rice, cook out all the alcohol, then we're going to start adding our liquid. What I'm going to do is over here is I'm going to saute our flavor ingredients. Um, part of the reason I'm showing you this way is because over here, sky is the limit what you can do. We're doing a uh, lobster version, so we're going to start with little shallots, some sweet red peppers. I'm going to let that go just a second. Then we're going to add corn. Really, we're just taking the, we're just doing a very light saute on these. And then our main flavor ingredient is chopped up lobster meat. So that's going in. What we got going on, we have a lobster stock here. You're not going to be making lobster stock at home, I mean, most of you. Um, I think a little bottle of clam juice would probably be the way to go. But I wanted to keep it authentic, so we're just going to you get a little lobster stock going in there. Bring all the flavors together. Now we're going to finish it up. So over here we do the traditional finish with butter and Parmesan cheese. Get some basic grated Parmesan cheese. For this purpose it works a lot better than don't go putting your Reggiano in there, but if you must, you may. So at this point we're just going to kill the heat. We take all of our ingredients. We're going to work it together. So now we got our basically have risotto that's ready to eat. We're going to spread it into a pan. Then we're going to stick it in the fridge and let it cool. And then from there we're going to make little balls and bread them up. Hi, I'm Manolo Head. I'm the chef of cuisine of uh, Chapo Grill. I'm going to go be going through the process of uh, the breading of the arancinis, uh, something that Chef Kelly just finished uh, showing to you guys. Nice, rich corn, laughter, spicy um, risotto balls, basically. So, roll into little balls. Like to be nice and uh, we do round ones this way. But after that, what we do, we dredge them in uh, just all-purpose uh, flour. Make sure you finish doing the one step first, otherwise you're going to have to be going between egg wash, flour, breadcrumbs. It's going to be all sticking up in your hands uh, that way. That's the only reason why we want to just to finish uh, flouring first. And then we're going to be going into the next step after. So at this point, what we do is just let the egg wash, coat the balls. After the pan is all done, that's pretty much all set, ready to go into the fries. While Manuel's over there rolling up the balls and getting them all breaded up for us, I'm going to be back here making the sauce on the stove. Um, we're doing what's called a bear monte, emulsified butter, if you will. Another technique we can you can flavor lots of different ways to use for lots of different stuff. Um, we start with a tiny bit of water in a pan. You can see it just kind of bubbling down there and almost dry. And then, again, this is all about stirring. Throw in a piece of butter. Knock it out on the floor. Throw in another one. The key here is you want to keep all the components of the butter kind of emulsified instead of just melting it. Okay, so once all the butter's in, the sauce is nice and emulsified. Basically looks like paint. We're going to... 
flavor it up. Oh. Get a little lemon. A lot of lime. Put a little salt. And then, of course, the sriracha. Spicy sriracha. So then what we have is a nice, velvety sriracha butter sauce. And we serve with our arancinis. Okay, so now we're at the frying phase with our arancinis. They're all breaded, nice and perfectly round. Um, I use a deep, a pan of deep canola oil. It's heated to about 350 degrees. We're gonna put about five at, five at a time in there. Let's do a few at a time, because we don't want to, uh, if we do too many, they'll cool the oil off. They fry for all of about, I'm gonna say three quarters of a minute to a minute. Um, one thing you can do is put your oven on about 275 degrees, and as you fry them, so you're not rushed around, just Kind of stick them back on a pan and hold them in the oven. They'll be fine. Very forgiving arancinis. That's why they're great for parties. So anyway, there you go. You have your lobster arancinis. You can put a little more sauce on the side to serve them with. Great for a holiday dinner party. And sky's the limit as far as what you can put in them.